You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in which they exchanged good wishes on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. They prayed to Allah Almighty for further progress and prosperity for the Arab and Islamic nations on this occasion and wishes for many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received yesterday evening at Sakhir Palace the speakers of the representatives and Shura councils, the ministers, the acting president of the Supreme Judicial Council, chairman of the Financial and Administrative Control Bureau, president of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, in addition to governors and heads of municipal councils. The attendees extended to His Majesty see the king their sincere greetings for the advent of the holy month of ramadan wishing his majesty the king abundant health and happiness and for bahrain under his majesty's wise leadership security progress and prosperity his majesty the king welcomed all the well-wishers and exchanged with them greetings marking the holy month his majesty also thanked them for their noble sentiments praising their efforts in serving the nation and enhancing its status as pioneering role in different fields on this occasion his majesty the king wished the people and residents many happy returns and for the arab and islamic nations peace and prosperity. His Majesty the King asserted that Ramadan is a month for mercy, forgiveness, communication and compassion in which the values of cooperation and social solidarity are strengthened. His Majesty the King also affirmed that the people of Bahrain has been a one united family and the Kingdom of Bahrain will continue to be an oasis of peace and stability and a nation of coexistence and security for its people and residents. His Majesty the King also noted that Bahrain will remain the home of tolerance and moderation that is open to the world and is proud of its heritage and culture Wealth. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the Bahraini experience, qualified cadres and expertise that serve the nations in all the sectors and that a source of confidence in Bahrain's future and progress. He noted the importance of cooperation for a better future, praying to God Almighty for success and unity among the people of Bahrain.
الله على كل حال تشكرون على كل الجهود اللي تبذلوها كل مسؤول منكم يعني قائم بواجبه ونحن في الواقع نقدر عرف الجهود الكبيره اللي تبذلوها كلها تصب في مصلحه الله الحمد البلد والمواطن والجميع هذا شهر خير وشهر بركة ولقاءات مستمرة بين المواطنين وبين الناس تزيد من أخوتهم وتزيد من ألفتهم وهذا اللي احنا بالفعل يسرنا فكل عام وانتم بخير His Majesty the King also received heads of accredited diplomatic missions in the kingdom who congratulated His Majesty on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing His Majesty and the people of Bahrain many happy returns. His Majesty welcomed the ambassadors of brotherly countries, hailing the outstanding bilateral relations and affirming the continuous keenness to develop them. His Majesty also expressed appreciation for the ambassadors' efforts to enhance joint cooperation between Bahrain and their countries. He asserted that the holy month of Ramadan enhances the values of brotherhood and cohesion and stresses the principles of Islam.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Glebia Palace. He directed to review and develop some areas in the country to ensure easy access to necessary services and to government services as well as to deal with any emergency. The cabinet condemned the terrorist attack that targeted a bus carrying Egyptian Coptic citizens to Minya province, which left scores dead and others wounded. The cabinet expressed Bahrain's solidarity and support to the government and people of the Arab Republic of Egypt against terrorism, affirming that Egypt's national unity is stronger than any attack. The cabinet also denounced the terrorist Manchester attack, which caused dozens of deaths and injuries. It condemned the attack and affirmed Bahrain's support to the measures taken by the United Kingdom against terrorism. His Royal Highness and directed to allocate a percentage of the government's purchases from small and medium enterprises to support them. He appointed the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism to present a proposal in this regard in cooperation with the tender board. The Prime Minister also directed all ministries to avoid delays in the payment of financial obligations owed to the institutions and companies and to avoid any financial obligations outside the allocated budget. As for citizens, His Royal Highness directed the Ministry of Housing to accommodate the applicants of Manama residents within the projects of the new cities. The cabinet approved the consolidated balance sheet of the country for the fiscal year 2016 audited by the Office of Financial and Administrative Control as well as approving a report regarding the performance of the 2016 general budget. The cabinet approved law amendments regarding prohibition and combating money laundering and the financing of terrorism and the law will punish those who practice these crimes with a life sentence of 10 years and a fine of not less than 100,000 Bahraini dinars. It also approved a draft law regarding judicial fees and to reduce the fee imposed to return to the lawsuit. The cabinet approved to amend the speed limit in 15 main streets in the country based on the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to adjust the speed limits within the requirements of traffic, meeting the safety requirements and reducing traffic violations. It also approved and referred to the Representative Council the audited financial data of the fiscal year 2016 according to the legal measures and requirements. The cabinet then discussed the development of judicial execution departments, the electronic transformation, and the construction of a technical infrastructure covering all departments of the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments in order to achieve administrative improvement and high quality services. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa honored the winners of the historic Jure d'Italie race in its 100th edition, which was amid wide media follow-up after a strong and exciting race. He congratulated the winners and praised the significant level of the participants, promoting or rather pointing out the levels of performances played by all the teams in what is considered one of the most challenging races in the world. He also 
also congratulated Bahrain Meridia cycling team for achieving the second place, affirming that the participation of Bahrain enhanced the status of the kingdom and highlighted its achievements and its economic, tourist and cultural elements, which reflects the wise visions and directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to achieve progress in the sports field. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that Bahrain Meridia team will continue to participate and affirm its presence in international events through a plan that will enhance the status of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Physical exercise is good for mind, body and spirit. Ramadan is a great opportunity to stay fit, active and maintain a good shape. More on this with Hiba Abdelghaffar. It's a myth that people can't exercise during Ramadan. Workout is even more essential during fasting in order to prevent muscle loss. It's actually a great opportunity to lose fat, maintain your fitness and accordingly stay light and healthy. Work out during Ramadan to make sure they do not lose enough muscle and make sure they increase their fat loss during Ramadan because again you have less, obviously you're not drinking enough, a lot, lots of water and you're obviously not uh, eating food for like 14 hours. Before you start again it's quite important that you do work out so you can do your cardio workout at least say one hour, two hours before, before iftar. You can do your, your weight training as well but make sure you do only body weight exercise, not any high intense exercises because you've been fasting for quite some time. 3,000 years ago you cannot uh, go to the supermarket like now, buy food, eat whatever you want. You needed to do what when you were hungry? You needed to hunt for food, right? So in order for you to hunt for food, hungry, you needed high awareness from your body, you needed high awareness from your mind. So basically uh, it's in our genes to be able to work out, to put up more when we are hungry. So I always tell clients don't be afraid to come to the gym when uh, fasting or uh, don't be at all afraid to train on Ramadan because it is beneficial and your body has been doing it for thousands of years so you can do it. After iftar it is really important not to rush into the gym. People feel guilty after they eat a lot. They want to spend calories as uh, much as possible, as soon as possible. So what I advise because uh, when you come immediately after you had your meal uh, basically, all of your body rushes to your stomach. Rest after you, you, you break after you break your fast. Rest uh, after iftar, and then one one and a half hour after you break your fast, you can come to the gym, do some now high intensity training. You can do some cardio, and you will feel much better after it. If the gym wasn't close enough, you can still keep moving through simple exercises that can be done at home or elsewhere. 30 seconds of normal, side and back planks are great workouts for your core, arms and back. Three sets of push-ups are fundamental workouts to maintain the strength of your upper body. Three sets of squats are great to keep your lower body strong and in shape. Three sets of lunges retain your balance, coordination and stability. 30 minutes before Iftar, it's really help, help us to, to burn more. We are fasting, and we are doing some cardio or something, so it helps, us, helps a lot. Take advantage of Ramadan to maintain a good exercise routine to enjoy great physical, moreover, mental benefits. You're only one workout away from a good mood. Exercise boosts energy, improves your muscle strength and endurance. Don't let fasting hold you back. Hit the gym, stay active and accordingly healthy. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffar.